Good morning everyone, today with breaking news from CBS, a Ku Klux Klan member has been found dead floating on the Missouri River. His identity and cause of death have yet to be found out, but what we can tell you is some information on this very secretive organization. Today we're going to bring you some of the history behind the Ku Klux Klan, also known as KKK. We're also going to tell you why it started, where it started, and when it started. So let's get into it. The Ku Klux Klan group has been around since after the American Revolutionary War. When the Confederates lost this arduous war against the Union, many soldiers still resisted the change and the abolition of slavery. So they formed and banded together in groups that sought to destroy black identity and, liberal, and liberty. Mm -hmm. They were formed in 1866 and they still survive today. They are very, very hated white supremacist group. The Ku Klux Klan based themselves on a nationalist and anti-ethnic ideology which seeks to destroy the identity and any groups within the United States from both Hispanic, Muslim, Jewish and black individuals even seeking out to destroy and murder those who support these groups regardless of their race. Shortly after they were formed the first time they actually succeeded and they after that, the first Ku Klux Klan was then de disbanded because there was no need for them to exist anymore. As the Ku Klux Klan rose again throughout the mid-19th century, it gained a lot of popularity with attaining over 5 million members across the United States. However, in a 2012 drop and loss of popularity, it disbanded but qu quickly reformed into the third Ku Klux Clan, which is present nowadays with only around two to five thousand members. They have white supremacist rallies where they burn crosses and swastikas. These are their symbols of hatred towards other ethnicities. CBS has inquired more into this topic as they demonstrate this white supremacy across the nation. Many gather in fear due to their identity being under threat. The Ku Klux Klan has been persecuted and hunted by the organizations such as the FBI and the CIA for committing terrorist activities such as ethnic pur purging in towns, lone wolf terrorism, and even nationalist attacks on government officials and other individuals from other ethnicities. They are very recognizable because all the Ku Klux Klan members wear white robes and white pointy hats and they look a bit like ghosts, but that is just to protect their identity. Nowadays, many of the leaders of the Ku Klux Klan are unknown due to the fact that they hide their identity very well from the media and the FBI and CIA who are currently chasing them. Sadly, until this day, slavery is an ideology which is the foundation to their creation. However, this conflict will not be resolved anytime soon as the Ku Klux Klan is constantly expanding by putting advertisements in kids' candy bars and other items which are often consumed by the public. Just yesterday in Tennessee, they found kids holding candy bars that had pictures of Ku Klux Klan recruitment papers and they were handing them out for free, just to little kids, just to recruit them. Now, activities span across the nation but are focused on central U.S. towns were once, which were once slave towns. The issue and the predominant problem will be in the resolution of this conflict is the widespread agreement with their ideologies. As long as the public does not rise up and stand against them, there will be no resolution. Whether it be it completely joining or fighting against them, we cannot tell you as CBS. But what we can tell you is be diverse, protect everyone, and seek liberty. This is Canon Lens from CBS. This is Nacho Benito from CBS. And it's been nice having you on the show. Thank you very much and have a great day.